welcome to Hillside, one of the most exciting uh, short tracks out there. Zachary Fitzwater and Mason Powers start in the front row for today's race. Time for some one mile action. No, yeah, I don't know. Here we go. Drivers, start your engines! Here we go. It's rolling off. Houston Jr. behind. I think he's gonna try to get the lead himself. Maybe. Here he comes. Uh, not quite. First lap. Good. Here comes the 48. To the inside. Jesse turning the 22. Got denied by the 11. And oh, caution. Big wreck. Lots of drivers involved. Big damage on the f on four drivers. Make that five actually. Raise it back, and the leader is, oh, the 23 is blown up. Trouble with the 23, and we got the one car, DJ Curtis in the wall. Caution is out, obviously. Leader is 48, Rodney Houston Jr., where we'll take a look. Take a look, uh, Connor Smith. So, oh, DJ Curtis dumped the 30, oh no, not the 38, the 09. Harden's wall for the 43, and then everyone came piling in. Look at Dixon Houston. Wow, what what a slide he did. Locked up the brakes. That was amazing. Narrowly misses that wreck. He really had to spin his own car out to do that. That was a smart move. Usually don't see that, but yeah, Dixon Houston overshot it. But it doesn't matter. It didn't hit anything. Just got to get them four tires. So, 23. There he is, blowing up. Everyone checks up. He was running in. He was in the lead. Well, he was actually in second, third. He led the lot, the first lap, and the thing just started to smoke. It was a good thing he went down pit road right away. It almost caused a wreck too. Held back a lot of drivers. So we'll take you back now. Getting ready for the restart. The 23 broke a piston. And of course, the other drivers. Five other drivers out. Six in total. To 36 drivers left. Uh, Houston Jr. He's in the lead. This car is heading in. Here we go. Green flag and the 22 got a bad start. But that doesn't mean anything. Well, right now it doesn't mean anything. Still early in the race. There's the 11, Kyle Collins. Stole the win away from him at Bristol. And here he comes to the inside. Everyone else will follow except for 51, Connor Breeden. And... No trouble! 3, 16! Oh, they kept it straight! No caution, no caution. We keep on going. The 3's on the wall still. Lots of damage. Yeah, I think he's down the road. And Rodgers and Judy got a humongous lead. Trey Phelps now taking over second. Here's the 88 to the inside. Uh, a lot of other drivers trying to make a pass. Yeah, that's hillside for you. No matter what, everyone's going to be extremely aggressive. Like, way too aggressive, like you know, on lap two. There's a three. Really slow, but still. He's on the apron though, and oh, caution is out. Second caution, 32, Ash Curtis, 09 J Stella again. And the 48, Ryan right, Jr. will lead again. Replay time. J Stella had enough with Ash Curtis. Looks like it. Flat out dumped him. But when you dump someone, you don't want to wreck your own car. 
Unless you're really pissed off, but I don't think Jay Settle was that pissed. So, yeah. Just a two-car wreck in turn two again, or the exit of turn two. We'll take you back. Getting ready for the restart. Three is out. Delaying enough for 35 drivers left. Here we go. Houston Jr., the leader. Green flag. 12. Hopefully he looks to the inside. He might even try to... Nope, never mind. Well, he's got room now, so... Never mind, not anymore. Houston Jr. is still leading. Talladega winner. Had a lot of wins stolen away from him. He's hoping that this is not, uh, doesn't happen today because he has a good shot. But now Fitzwater takes the lead. With the 88 behind and a double zero. Up to third. 37. Not known for the short track. No, yeah, I mean, no. The 88 almost got done by a double zero. Did not like that lot because of that. Ballon Hayden in the seven. Uh, not a lot of people. Up, oh, caution. Not a lot of people see do this as well at a short track. Usually those one and a half miles is his best. And oh, we got big trouble. One car flipping wildly. That's the 21. Holy hell, a lot of drivers involved. Lots of drivers are going to be out. And oh, the 09 just scraped someone. So the caution is out again. Leader is Trey Phelps. We'll take a look. So this is the real reason why the caution came out. The two teammates, Mitchell Riggs and DJ Curtis. Bad luck still going on. For uh, the one. Try to slow it down. The power steering this like failed or something. And he didn't he just slams head on there as a caution. And now it's time to see the big wreck. The big one strikes at Hillside. Finally. Well, it's expected to happen, so yeah. Uh, right there. Whoa, look at that 21. That banking, man. Something was wrong. The 21 got loose. Went to the apron. But then a 19 slammed into the back. And then a 02. My god, two hard hits. 19 took a hard hit. He just kept on tumbling. More drivers involved. Joseph Curtis. Also suffering the same thing as DJ Curtis as well. That's crazy. Any other Kurt way to... And Ash Curtis as well. Yeah. So 421, of course, out pretty much. Maybe even more. And the 1. 02. Yeah. We'll take you back. More problems. Uh, the 16 had a header problem. 19 with the fuel leak. Well, that was pretty obvious. Well, not really, but yeah. 29 drivers left, Trey Phelps in the lead, 7 Hayden in the 2nd, 3rd is Mason, 4th is Collins, and 5th is uh, Fitzwater. Green flag, here we go. Good start, looks like, for everyone. There's right there. Had that humongous lead at one point, don't know how he got it. The 7 to the inside. Oh, on a block, now here comes Powers in the 88. Moving up to second. So the seven will lead that lap. We're already past the half point. Three wide over here for the eleven. The nine. Here comes the nine. The third. The forty-eight making some moves here. Trey Phelps holding back his teammate. Megan Smith in the fourteen. Let's just hope that he doesn't cause another wreck. But uh, yeah, looks like it may be. Here comes the 48, uh, got the 11 right behind, double zero, back to the bottom with the 14. Here comes Kyle Cullen, 88 and 7, loose off the corner. Man, that's crazy. Here comes Kyle Cullen with the 11, Trey Phelps in the double zero, here he comes. Side by side to the lead, here, here we go. 14 was almost on the 8th one. Put tires on the yellow line though. Side. Comes Collins from the 11. Double zero to third. Trying to move to the second. Someone's going to wreck again. They're about to, they want to go four wide, you can tell. I think they're catching up on a slow car too. 14, whoa! Close call. Yeah, they're going to catch on some slow drivers soon. They're going to cause a big wreck. We've seen it happen here at Hillside many times. 48, squeezing up on the top, battling for the 7. Squeeze in Kyle Collins with a big lead. Texas 09 wild. 
Double zero. Oh, oh man, a seven to seven. Whoa. He's squeezing on the bottom. 32 is up next. I'll be damned if they don't wreck. Someone's gonna wreck. Someone will wreck. Oh. 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 Whoa, teammates just collided. 32. Don't think that's gonna get factored. I think we just clear. Yeah, we're clear. We're pretty much clear. But, uh, you know, the driver's lost a lot of ground. Apparently, a three car battle for the lead. You could say it's two on one, but everyone is just going for the win. Winning at Hillside is like winning the Mini 500. Because it's so challenging. Lots of drivers say it's challenging. You just. Whoa, 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 teammates! F14 all over the double zone's back but we're not acting like a teammate at all. How many tend to go? As we got a caution now, we can have this set loose. Uh, this field reset. Whoa! Oh, trouble! Someone's blowing up! Someone's blowing up! Oh! Contact! Contact! The 11! The 11! Kyle Collins is blowing up and there's like a lot of debris all over the place. Oh! Oh! There we go! There we go! There we go! Oh my god, lots of drivers. Oh, crap. Caution. That's the third car that has a has, uh, some kind of mechanical issue. So that gives Trey Phelps the lead once again. We'll take a look at what happened. Take a look here. The 11 to Kyle Collins. It was on the back stretch. And then. Wait for it. Hmm. Okay, went too far on that one. And up oh, right there, that's when it starts to blow up. Then here comes the 9 of Fitzwater. That's a damage glitch, but it won't be after the 9 slams into him. Look at that. That the 9 was blown up for a second, but it's a lot of damage on the 9, which sucks. Then everyone rushing in, the 18 on the apron. Everyone checking up. 36 was able to control, but then 24 and 15. Whoa. 24 was on the bottom, was on the apron, slid back up, and the 15 went down as well. And there they go, the 48 getting collected, the 12, a 1, 10, 22, a 92, 18, lots of drivers. So, the second one, the second big one, no, I should just call it the third one. Yeah, third big one. No, second mi uh, medium one. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, the 42 got into, into a Aureus and the 10. Not good. So, we'll take you back. Here we go, getting ready for the restart. Not a lot of laps to go. Who's gonna win this thing? 26 drivers left. Green flag is out. And the two, double zero, 14. Got a good start. Shot. Zachary Bowman in the 38. Another one mile track. Looking to do it again here today at Hillside. Trying to beat the 51. Trying to get another win. He's moving up, trying to pass Bowen in the 38. He's trying to move up to third. Get Chevy 1, 2, 3. Also going on the 87. He's doing pretty well, but we still got a couple laps to go. Remember, this is Hillside. Never know what's going to happen here. Oh boy, nearly four wide. The 83 tried to go to the bottom. Well, actually, he is on the bottom, but all the way to the bottom. Austin Mongold uh, has some been doing very well after we were closing them a halfway point. They're coming. It's two laps to go. Here comes the 87. Oh, caution! Oh, come on, really? And there's problems with the 87. Oh boy, oh boy, who's gonna win this? Ah, no. Connor Breton. Ah, I knew it, I knew it. Adding an extra lap is gonna screw everything up. I'm gonna go change it back later on. Caution is out. And this makes this, and the race will end under caution. Connor Breeden will win. Mongol almost got him, but all the oil and all that stuff slowed him down. He would have spun out and took a lot of drives with him if he didn't, so smart move. But I know he ain't gonna think that because he could have got the win if he didn't, but Connor also slowed down. Uh, but he still got the win. So another win for Connor Breeden. I am not even gonna take a look at the replay, screw that. Take a look here at the horse results. Connor, Reed, Williams, Austin, Mongol, Megan Smith, Luigi V, 
Factory Bowman, Mason Powers, Trey Phelps, Henry Powers, Bradley Bishop Jr., and John Colton, your top 10. Here is the rest of the race results. Uh, 26 drivers finished today's race, and sadly, the race ends on the clock. I don't think it's a good